at whatever stage your interest is in the metaverse. There's no denying that it is the newest area of technological advancement that has taken the world of cryptocurrency by storm. Research estimates have shown that the metaverse could very well become an $800 billion industry by the year 2028. So, this is one area of technology and real estate that you won't want to miss out on. In this video, you'll learn how to invest in metaverse land, especially for beginners looking to join in on this craze. You may or may not have heard of it, and even if some real estate enthusiasts already know what it entails, there are questions like, is it profitable to invest? Or, what are the odds of the metaverse crashing? Before the end of this video, these questions and any other questions you have about investing in real estate in the metaverse will be answered. But if you're new to this channel, hit the subscribe button so you don't miss any of our upcoming content on real estate investing. What is the metaverse? Some people may have an idea of what the metaverse is. You might think it's a video game, and although you are not so far off from what the idea actually means, games like Roblox, Minecraft, and GTA being some sort of metaverses on their own. The metaverse is not just a game. Neil Stevenson actually coined the term in 1992 in his novel Snow Crash, describing it as an imaginary, computer-generated universe. The easiest explanation of the metaverse is that it is a virtual world in which users can interact with each other and the world itself. Users are able to play games, go shopping, attend meetings and conferences, invest in digital real estate, and pretty much do almost everything they've done in the real world through personalized avatars and VR headsets for a much more immersive experience. Facebook investors are already aware that the company has changed its name to Meta Platforms as a reference to the metaverse on October 28th of 2021. The metaverse is fast growing and firms are investing millions of dollars into virtual real estate with the optimism of doubling or tripling their investments. How does digital real estate in the metaverse work? VR, which is called virtual reality, and AR, augmented reality, play key roles in the evolution of the metaverse, including its digital real estate. The metaverse can be small, as in individual worlds, or massive and containing all other metaverses. A good example is seen in one of the fastest growing metaverse platforms, the Sandbox. Land is a piece of the Sandbox metaverse. Just like land in the real world, digital real estate provides the possibility of monetizing your own part of that particular metaverse. You can build experiences, host events, invite friends, or just go sightseeing. Now, when you buy multiple pieces of land, you can be able to create your own metaverse featuring whatever it is you want. And depending on how much traffic you are able to get, you could sell those plots, host paid events and concerts, or become a landlord by allowing business owners to open up in your metaverse or build residential homes. It all depends solely on you. This is what Snoop Dogg did, and now he has his own metaverse called Snoopverse, which is in a metaverse called The Sandbox. This is just one of the other metaverses out there. Who would have thought that the metaverse was going to be such a big deal? With corporations and individuals spending thousands and millions of dollars, this is something that will only grow bigger in the future. You can join any metaverse by signing up using any compatible hardware. When you sign in, you're represented by an avatar that you can change anytime you want by buying premium avatar skins or clothing called wearables. But should you invest in metaverse real estate? Making an investment in the metaverse isn't for everyone, and so just like any investment, you should really think things through before taking the leap. All things in the metaverse are still highly speculative, especially to the common man. So make sure to invest money you can afford to lose. There is also a very fat chance that investors will make a great deal of money from it. Some investors already are, with prices of plots increasing by the day. Make sure to speak with a financial advisor who knows about metaverse real estate investments and can help you figure out if they are right for your portfolio. Also, do your own research, as this video is for informational purposes only and not a means of financial advice. How to invest in metaverse digital real estate To buy metaverse land NFTs, also known as non-fungible tokens, you will need a cryptocurrency wallet that's compatible with the NFTs. Then, you'll go to the platform of the metaverse you have selected to either bid on or buy outright the land you want. When you buy land in the metaverse, 
you'll receive the NFT to represent the land you've purchased. NFTs means non-fungible token. It is a digital identity which no one else can own because it's linked to your blockchain and can be anything as long as it's unique and isn't a copy. It can be digital art, videos, music, and so much more. The metaverse land is also an NFT because it's unique and each land is different from the other. The land value is meant to appreciate with time, visitors, and traffic. And since the lands are NFTs, it's easy to prove ownership and authenticity. Cryptocurrencies in metaverses are very similar to NFTs, except that NFTs represent a specific and unique item that can't be exchanged for the exact same item, while cryptocurrencies are tokens that are used as a means of buying digital currencies within the metaverse. They represent metaverse real estate, like the land NFTs in the Decentraland and Sandbox metaverses. You need to have them to be able to purchase tokens and then use the tokens to purchase assets in the metaverse. Example of tokens is the MANA token used by Decentraland. You purchase MANA tokens with cryptocurrency and then purchase land with the already bought MANA token in Decentraland. What are some other ways to invest in the metaverse platform besides digital real estate? Digital real estate in the metaverse is a really interesting concept because real-world real estate is valued largely due to proximity to other services, such as shops and attractions. You are bound by the time it takes to travel from your home. However, many metaverses like Decentraland allow users to teleport around the world, making travel instant and not relevant to valuation. Since the digital real estate market is somewhat new, a lot of the higher-priced land sales have come from plots with really good locations, usually by proximity to major attractions in that particular metaverse. Remember, traffic and visitors increase the value of your land. And to get it much more easily, the location of your land plot should be put into consideration. Digital real estate is really making waves and growing so fast that 5 out of 10 of the most expensive NFT sales are usually metaverse land plot NFTs in different virtual worlds. As mentioned earlier in this video, you can do research about the digital real estate in the metaverse just like you can in the real world. While you may visit sites like Redfin or Zillow to compare properties that are similar and also determine if a real estate purchase is a good value in the real world, you can use sites like OpenSea or NonFungible.com to also do the same research in the metaverse. These sites show the sales history of different metaverse properties and let you check and compare the values of similar properties across metaverse lands. Besides digital real estate, you can invest in other areas in the metaverse. Some of these areas include creation and sale of non-fungible tokens representing art or merchandise. Cryptocurrencies used in the metaverse such as mana or sand, these tokens can be traded like actual cryptocurrencies. You can also buy stocks from companies that are already investing in metaverse projects. Good examples of such companies are Samsung, which has a virtual store in Decentraland. Nike also has a sneaker brand in the same metaverse. Microsoft is another reputable company, also investing in the metaverse. NVIDIA is a computer graphics chip company whose products are integral to a seamless metaverse experience. They make technology that helps power the metaverse, and you can invest in them too. Whatever your choice is, when it comes to your decision about investing in the metaverse, there's no denying that the metaverse is the future and definitely here to stay. So, if you're looking to build a diversified portfolio, it might make sense to put some of your money into digital assets and investments in the metaverse. Hit the subscribe button and let me know if you plan on investing in digital real estate. To get a better grasp on how celebrities like Snoop Dogg are buying digital real estate to make money, watch this video next where I'll explain all about it. Click the video on the screen and I'll see you in the next one.